Hello everyone. In this video, we will show you how to set up an alert with Tenderly. Just to give you more context, Tenderly provides real-time alerts that can notify you about any on-chain event. You can use alerts to identify and resolve any smart contract issues, as well as detect operational security issues earlier. Alerts can be integrated with Slack, email, PagerDuty, Sentry, and other popular tools, allowing you to choose the most convenient place to receive notifications. Let's dive in and see how to set up an alert that will notify us when the wallet balance drops below a certain threshold. To get started, click the new alert button to launch the wizard, which will guide you through the setup process. The first thing that we need to do is to select the alert trigger type. Depending on what's relevant to your project, you can choose between numerous triggers. Some triggers are self-explanatory like successful or failed transaction while others are more specific like view functions, which triggers when the view function return value matches a certain criterion, passes a threshold, or changes by a certain percentage. For the purpose of this demo, we'll show you how to use ETH balance trigger type to receive a notification when a wallet balance falls below a certain threshold. The alert is most commonly used by bots, keepers, and oracles. It comes in handy in scenarios where you have a smart contract that executes payments automatically. Now that we selected the trigger type, next we need to decide on the trigger target. This can be a contract address on a specific network or addresses belonging to your Tenderly project. Or you can create a custom tag to group the addresses based on the criteria of your choice. For this example, select the address and choose a smart contract you want to monitor from the dropdown. We will select our test Gorly wallet and paste here the value in a way that we already calculated. This will be our threshold. And click Next. Lastly, we need to select an alert destination. Let's keep things simple and use the email notification for this project. Add an email address that you want to use and save the alert. Now let's check the notification we received from the Tenderly alerting system on my email. As you can see, the notification was sent as soon as the Gorly account went below the predefined threshold. And that's it for this demo. If you want to learn more about different types of alerts and how to set them up, check out the documentation linked in the description of this video. You can contact us at supportattenderly.co if you have any more questions, want to share feedback, or need help to get started. Thanks for watching.